Um, so today we are going to perform an experiment on the displacement reaction between sink powder and copper turoxide. So we are having these two powder here, both of them are of solid state. And right now, um, you can observe, uh, I'm going to mix these two on a watch glass. Now this one is the sink metal, sink powder, and we are going to obtain some, like, um, uh, a spatula of sink powder, or maybe I can obtain two spatula. All right. Observe the color. It is actually gray. It is gray in color. And right now, I also have copper turoxide here. And observe the color of copper turoxide. It is black. This is the copper turoxide. And right now, I'm going to mix these and becoming a mixture. Now, mixture is different from a compound, huh? So, right now, I'm going to mix these. They are physically mixed together. And what I am going to do after mixing is that I'm going to pull it on the heat resistant mat here. And make it like a sausage shape. All right. And I am going to use a torch or actually use an inverted Bunsen burner in order to ignite it. And right now I have a Bunsen flame serving as a torch and I'm going to ignite it. Observe very carefully what happened. Make sure you understand the scientific observation that we observe the flame color, the change, the change over there. Now, what is the flame color? You can observe the flame color. At the same time, the result of mixture, what is happening over there? See, there are some color change already. All right. Okay. So, you can see there are some yellow solid over here. And let's wait and observe. And there is also a color change afterwards. Now, this yellow, yellow solid, actually, when it is being cooled down, the color would change as well. What is the color right now? Actually, it turns, it turns white. So what are they? Can you think of what are they? And also, can you see those black copper peroxide all of them, they disappear, but there is some reddish-brown residue over there. And what I am going to do right now, you can observe there are some reddish-brown solid as well as some white solid over here. And right now I am having a 2, two MHCl, hydrochloric acid. Now, hydrochloric acid can actually dissolve those oxide. And of course, if you look very carefully onto this solid state displacement reaction when we are having the sink 
adding carbon dioxide and after heating, actually there is a displacement, a redox reaction happen that we're able to obtain the copper as well as zinc oxide. And right now when we add some of the hydrochloric acid onto this mixture, and you can see the zinc oxide, the white powder would actually be dissolved and you can actually see there are some copper metal evolved and of course the scientific observation is that reddish brown solid can be obtained and of course these obviously they are the copper metal all right so have a very nice day i hope you can observe there are a few important observations there of course like the flame color when we ignite it what was the flame color and why there is a presence of that bluish green flame and number two is that when the resultant mixture was hot it was actually having yellow solid as well as reddish brown solid and after we add the hydrochloric acid to dissolve dull zinc oxide and we can see the copper metal thank you have a very nice day bye bye